Today, I, was, I received a clip of a young boy from the Gambia reading the Quran. There were actually three or four boys. Each one wanted to read the Quran. And the Quran was so melodious, I chose the smallest or the youngest person and I posted it up on Instagram with a caption encouraging us to do more regarding our connection with the Quran. Who would have guessed that in West Africa, there are thousands of people who only speak the Arabic language. Did you know that? And it's not their mother tongue. They have ensured from a young age that they speak Arabic. And they have memorized the Quran better than you and I can imagine from a very early age. They have competitions and contests in Sierra Leone, in the Gambia, in Ghana, in Nigeria, in so many places, subhanAllah, in Mali, such that our little competitions would actually be dwarfed by the size of theirs. They have stadiums filled with hundreds of thousands of people, subhanAllah. They are serving Allah. They are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we sitting comfortable here think that we're a big deal sometimes. And when we look at them sometimes, shaitan makes us think that we are better. Never ever. Never. We are not better. In fact, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who knows the level of piety. Those who are struggling in the townships, in the villages, only Allah knows their struggle. Yet they are dedicated to worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah make it easy for us. This is why we say there is no room for pride and arrogance. You never know where you're going to be the minute you close your eyes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us Jannatul Firdaus. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors.